Hi there, just look round uh, the boats. There we go, there's the bat. That's the engine in now. All the pipe work's done. Um, I ran it yesterday and tested it and it works really well. Um, but it's really raining today so I really can't take it out today. Just a few more jobs to do. And then she'll be on her way to Owen, South Africa. And I'm sure he's going to love this. Just try and show you inside the boat. There's the water tank. There you are. And there's the, the pipe work for it. There's the uh, Anton Christian crystal engine. There's the uh, condenser tank down there. So that's that's way on its way to being finished now. And here we've got the little clinker. There's a little bit of work to do on that. And then that's going on its way to Kenneth. And I thought I've got a few minutes, so I'll just do a quick video on how to plan my next project. So here we have the next project. This is the uh, Martin Bayliss triple which is a really really nice engine look at that it's beautiful so I'll just take you around there so that's the triple and here that's uh, my configuration for the condenser tank so um, with a couple of valves on it so basically under back pressure the tank will empty itself okay um, here's the gas tank which is all done that's finished and here we have a nice water tank little tap on the bottom okay that's that and here's a slightly bigger tap that's um that's a quarter by 40 tpi which is quite nice there's a nice little fitting and here we have the plans for our next boat which is going to be sort of um it's going to be an Edwardian fantail launch. So um, this is the plan. Um, there's not much um, sort of floor detail in the plan, but we can pick that off of the plans. So that's okay. So there's the uh, the general arrangement of the plan. I'll just uh, try and focus it a bit better. There we are. So, um, the original boat was built in about 1906, I think, something like that. And um, there's the offsets for it. So that from this, um, we can enlarge the plans and... I would think that I would like to build a length of about 45 inches. Um, the bat here, that's, uh, I'll just go back a bit, that's 42 inches. So we're going to run a triple. So I think we'll probably run about 45 inches in length. And um, with a beam of about nine and a half, ten inches, I think, on this. But we'll see how she um, she comes out when we start enlarging the plans. 
Um, because it's a fan tail, um, we can't really do a clinker build, build on this. But it is a very basic sort of clinker shape in the design of the hull. But we have this fan tail, so it's not a square back. You know, um, if we look at the little clinker, that's like a square back. And then if we just go to the bat, we can see that's that's what we call a, a counter stern back. So the Edwardian stern is, um, as you can see from the picture there, it's also got a gentler sweep to it. So I would say it's probably a little, a little bit more elegant, hopefully, in the build. So um, I would think that we would do a, you know, I'm going to build a plank on frame for that. There's another back look at the offsets. So with the offsets we've got a sort of general arrangement of the body plan. We've got the, the basic water line here and um, we've got um, the offsets and the shear to show us the, the shape of the hull that we want to achieve from the plan. So I think that will make a really great So that's the next project and um, there's the tanks that are going to go in it and that's the new Martin Bayliss triple. So I hope you like that and see you next time.